Welcome to the Premier Guns video. Uh, we're going to talk about a manufacturer that is very much, in my opinion, underrated, particularly in the UK for a number of years, and that is Keeman. And what we have here, we have got a one owner Keeman Extra Lux B side plate. So, for those that don't know, Keeman is a Spanish manufacturer from around about 1990, it's not very old, so I think about 1990 it was formed. And um, it, it, they are quite similar to a Parazzi. It, it, they have got a nickname of being the Spanish Parazzi. Now, in the mid 1990s in the UK, they were really, really popular. Uh, they were bought, bought in, imported by quite a famous gun shop up in Lancashire, and a lot of top names shot them. Um, I can't actually think, I think Kevin Gill used to shoot one when they first came out. I know Sean Bramley did quite a lot with one over the years, and it's a name that's kind of fell off the face of the earth almost in terms of, in terms of hearing about them. Um, you still see a few KM4 standard black action guns knocking around, which again looks very much like a Parazzi MX-8. It's a low profile boss style action with a detachable trigger which we'll show you in a second. But I thought this, this is the nicest Keeman I've ever come across, so I thought I'll share it with you, I'll talk about it, a bit about its history, a bit about its features, and um, you can make your own mind up. So this is a KM4, which is the, the, the standard model of Keeman, but as with a lot of manufacturers, this is the, the high-end version. The story behind this particular gun is it was um, one of our customers had it made for, I believe, his 50th or 60th birthday. Took quite a long time to come because, you know, the Spanish aren't the most reliable for producing things on time and, and uh, adhering to delivery schedules, shall we say. Uh, but I think if you look at it, it was absolutely worth the wait. Obviously, he, spe he specced it up to his, uh, his dimensions in terms of the start, the barrel length, the barrel weight. Because like I said, they are a manufacturer that are similar to Pratsy, and so there are a lot of options if you could find somebody that could supply you one and go down the, go down the bespoke route. So I'm just going to take it apart to start with. I understand this gun was completed in about 2008. So, like I said, if you look at the monoblock and the lump, the whole thing screams Parazzi. You know, it's got the, the, deep, cut, um, the deep cut recesses that fit in the, the sort of side of the action. This sort of... I don't know what that is. Okay, so it, it absolutely screams Parazzi. If you know, if you didn't know about Keeman, and I sort of, you know, offered those barrels up to you, would I almost certainly say they were for Parazzi. So boss style action, um, demi block barrels. This particular set of barrels are 32 inch long, 1545 grams, which for me is about absolutely spot on what you'd want. You know, I remember years ago I had a Breta DT10, which is 1550 gram barrels, and it was just absolutely perfect in terms of balance for, for a 32 inch gun. Um, all Keemans tended to be sort of a, a trap style action, so they tend to have this slightly wider rib and non-selective trigger. Now this particular gun was ordered with a selective trigger, which I'll come on to in a minute, and it has actually got a tapered rib. So 32 inch, 1545 gram barrels, tapered rib, which is hand file cut, ventilated, and as with the majority of Keemans, this gun is factory Briley multi-choked. If you look at the hook in the barrels, you can see that the gun's in very little use. Okay, and um, the barrels themselves are Magnum proofed, and I believe steel shot proofed as well. I will just confirm that. 18.7 bores, so they are overboard. And then we move on to the exciting bit. So this is the Extra Lux B model, which is essentially a profusely engraved, side-plated version of the KM4. What we've got here, we've got a sort of brushed, finished side plate. Um, with the sort of semi-hidden screws, which are, which fit in quite nicely with the with the scene. You've got a game scene depicting ducks in flight with this nice sort of border scroll work. And if you look at the 
the scroll work that sort of complements the, the side plates, the actual plates themselves, it's really, really, really deep. It's got carved fences, it's got an engraved top lever. You know, this, this is a, a real quality piece of kit, which in its day would have been a considerable amount of money. Um, but if you can just see alongside the, bot the, the, the side of the trigger guard, of the trigger group, there is something engraved, which will be the, the name of the engraver that's, that's the artisan that's done all this very smart handiwork on the, uh, on the gun. There's the name of the engraver. Okay, so trigger guard, again, profusely engraved. Not, not super deep, you know, um, even though it's a European manufacturer, if you look at some of the German manufacturers like Kriegoff and Merkel from you know, a few years ago, they tend to go a bit over the top, in my opinion, with this really, really deep, bold stuff. I think this is just tasteful enough. It's deep enough to show you that it's, you know, there's a lot of time and effort got into it, but it's not over the top. Again, that's just my personal opinion. And what you will notice, <clears throat> talking about the trigger, is that on the back of the trigger is the selector. Now this is something that, um, again, perhaps you have done over the years, although a lot of the modern ones have got the, the selector on the, on the safety catch. Um, this particular gun has got the selector on the trigger. So all you do is you essentially push the button across, which changes the barrel, selects the barrel. Not something you see every day. So in terms of taking the trigger out, it's probably easier to just put it together first. So we'll just drop the barrel back on. Nice positive click there. Fore and dump. And as with, again, I keep referring to the Pratsy MX-8, but this is essentially what Keeman have, have, have tried to copy, have tried to replicate. You know, it's really, really well thought out. You know, really nice example of what is possible from a side-plated shotgun which again was, was ordered at the time by the, by the previous owner. Really nicely figured. It's got a semi-pistol grip printer Wales grip on it. Turkish walnut. It feels lovely in the hand to be honest with you and the gun balances extremely well as you would imagine because as being a custom order it would have been factory balanced. You've got a standard sort of solid-ish recoil pad on the back which I don't suppose the gun will recall much anyway. I think it weighs about eight pound four ounces. So again, from a clay shooting point of view, really, really nice, really soft to shoot, but also on taller stuff, um, taller pheasants, etc. Again, it's just, it's a very universal piece of kit. So semi pistol grip stock, double point checkering. If we look at the fore end, slightly different checkering pattern, double point on the front end and a schnabel. Again, with the engraving, you've got the engraved fore end iron, the engraved latch. I mean, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of work gone into this shotgun. And it is probably more impressive up close than you guys are seeing in the video. So I know I keep making comparisons between this, um, the Keeman and the Pratsy MX-8, but essentially that is what it's trying to, trying to be. Um, MX-8, of course, has got the the dropout trigger as it has done since the 1960s when it first came about and the Keeman is no different. It's slightly different in how it works. So you just push this little bar across and out it comes. So V springs, the trigger pulls on this particular gun are absolutely incredible. It feels lovely. The trigger pulls are nice. These do have a bit of a following overseas. Again, we can export a gun for you, not a problem at all. So if you've got any questions about this particular Keeman or any other Keemans, I'm not a Keeman aficionado, don't claim to be, but I know quite a bit about them. So if you want to um, drop us a message, give us an email, call us, whatever you want to do. You can see the, the level of quality that's gone into this thing. It's quite a heavy piece of metal as well. So it just feels um, like it's going to be very durable and it's going to last a long time. Uh, quite a smart little way it goes in as well. So to replace it, just line the hammers up, push it down push a little bar across and it goes and that's it done that's been the Keeman X Lux B I've been Matt Morgan for Premier Guns look forward to seeing you soon again take care bye bye